All right, all you wonderful people. Um, happy Thursday. You're in store. We got a special one today. We have Mr. Harry Andrews, the legend, the most inspiring, most motivating, um, incredible human here. And so first off, we just want to start off one. Thank you, Harry, for joining us. Oh, man, thank you. That's, I feel privileged to be here with you guys. Believe me, this is, this is always so much fun. And then two, I just want to say, you know, all our hearts go out to all the people in Ukraine right now. It's definitely a challenging time in our world and, and um, you know, praying for the families over there and all you can really say, I guess. Um, moving on, we have Gwen, who is just uh, the rock behind this YouTube and inspiration and and, and learning and information um it's so cool man you're always you always got something new we show up harry and i show up to the beach and i'm like okay we're gonna put this on we're gonna put this camera here we're gonna try this we're gonna do this and you're just like what we're gonna do what <laughs> it's so true the last video that gwen made <clears throat> you know we were all sure we we're putting on this microphone <clears throat> this thing around your neck looked like a, a rat or something all this <laughs> stuff, you know and somehow you got to shake it or something to keep it active but it's a microphone and then I understand everything. You clapped it, get everything all synced up. And it's like everybody asked me about the video, said, you know, it was really neat how you did the voiceover. I said, no, that's not a voiceover. That's actually that's what we were talking when we were actually doing a foiling. You know, and I said, it's the darnest thing. You go out foiling with these guys to go out towing. And, and it's like, OK, <clears throat> now we're going to have a drone over here. And we got a next camera here. And we got another camera over here. And it's like, oh, my gosh, this is a whole production deal out here. I thought we just come out and do tow foiling, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited to be back. It's been a while. We haven't been um, on the live here. We skipped a few weeks, but so what's 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 I, I love about like you know making videos when we go out and stuff. Like there is two sides to it. Like, like okay, should we should we you know maybe not film and, and totally like be in the present or film um, share that experience with with everybody. And I think there is some sort of like. Um, like satisfaction that comes with with, uh, with being able to like share what we experience, you know, with with our like followers. So it's always like you know we go to the beach and it's like you know should we film, should we not film? But then in the end, like you know, it's there is always something good that comes out of it either way. Oh yes, <laughs> it's always it's so much fun, honestly. Yeah, and and yeah, there is like endless ways like. People are commenting and 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 everybody is asking always for like you know when when is Harry coming back? So that's why today we have the man. Uh, he's back. I think, they're, I think they're asking you: Is Harry still alive? <laughs> <laughs> is, is he still alive, that old guy. Yes, I understand. Yes. Now I think uh, you know Harry. What you bring to the table? Obviously, we've known you for a while. But what's really special is, you know, you're just like I'd say, you know. 90 or more percent of the wing foilers out there everybody's sharing a good message with people because it's a fun new sport and everybody's sharing it um you're just ahead of the game because you you've taught us how to wing foil pretty much so it's kind of a cool thing to you know be able to share that message to people and and, and then you know our latest video last week uh the toe foiling i mean people just went crazy because uh it just shows different aspects how to enjoy life and to get out there and 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 share those special feelings um up on foil and with mother nature and in different ways to be able to enjoy well you know i think we should back up just a little bit and and when i say that is because let's start with kite foiling when it first came eight or nine years ago and i saw you on the beach and you said harry you got to try this foiling with a kite and i said Oh my gosh. I, I mean, I saw it. I saw you out there and, and you're the first guy to ever do it. So I went out and I absolutely drowned it for an hour. I mean, <laughs> I truly did. I, and I finally got up going one way and it was the very first really nice foils were lift foils. And as you remember, I mean, you know, cause you showed, showed me how to do it. Yeah. So that's the first time I ever foiled. And then the second time <clears throat> was when we did the toe in foiling. You said, oh, Harry, we got to try this towing foiling behind a jet ski. You got a jet ski, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go try this, Harry. And so you took me out there, and we went out, and, and I got drowned again for a couple more hours as I watched you do all the foiling. And I finally I said, I got to learn it. It took me a couple years before I could finally get on a foil. And then back to the wing foiling, 
it's like you were out there again and I watched you once again doing this new sport and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, there's no way I will ever be able to do this. And I tried it and I said, there's definitely no way. And so I didn't get, didn't get back on it. And then I did try it again. And then of course I got into it more and more, but every one of these items, just like when we were paragliding, it was because of <laughs> Damien Leroy, oh, let's, let's go try this Harry. It's like, I don't know. Let's try to kill the old man first and see if we can make it. You know, I swear that's what it's like. But no, you've taught me all these things. I had nothing to do with it at all, except I just sort of followed in line. It was, it's been a great adventure. Well, the truth is everybody listening. Here's the trick in life. Just find somebody willing to maybe you can push into first so that you don't have to do it. <laughs> so, yes. Harry's been that perfect situation. I didn't own a jet ski. So I was like, Hey, Harry, what are you doing? <laughs> yes, I think that's true. Oh my God. No, I think, um, look, you know, the most valuable thing that both I, I would say Harry and Gwen and later in our life to, to join the adventure, um, you know, you don't know if you don't try, right? So like um, my wife recently was wing foiling and, and truthfully, she really enjoyed it because it's so hard and it's so challenging. And, and, and you know, you, you do the decompress after and she like ripped her feet up, you know, <laughs> like for a week she had to like wear different oh, shoes yes. because her yes. top of her feet were all bloody. And, but, you know, you decompress and you go through it and you, it, that is life. You know, you, you go through these up and down times and, you know, I, ha I had a key point that I just want to mention here to everybody truthfully today because it's a, you know, a lot going on today. But, you know, I look at like life and I just spent some time with my family and I, I look at work and my, my little amazing Ava who's walking right now. Um, you know, I look at like what is the most important thing in life? And, and I'm not saying the most important thing. There's a lot of important things in life, family and loved ones and experiences and and, and sharing a good message with people and doing your best and always putting your best foot forward. But, you know, the one thing that like really hits me today and I'll just share with everybody. And I think, you know, Gwen and, and Harry tap into this, but truly it is, I think a very valuable thing said that we all kind of maybe don't always do. And that is um, kind of really living in the moment and enjoying what you have right this second or right, right now. And, 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 you know, we always say it, a lot of people say it, but, you know, you don't know when your time is up. You don't know if you're going to be attacked. Um, you don't know if that you're, you know, you're having the greatest foil session. All of a sudden you get injured or, you know, truthfully, you know, we, we've had Arthur on here, uh, an incredibly inspiring human who you got to, you know, take a look at our YouTube video. Um, Arthur, he's just he's super inspiring. But he, you know, recently had a, 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 a just a totally random injury and and like those you can't control right so you have to enjoy the moment that you have right now and so i just wanted to say that to everybody out there because um i can say that i'm guilty of getting super busy and distracted and sometimes you forget about it so you're you're always working on all these things i gotta get done but a lot of those things are like are they really that important do they you know is it for your family is it for your health is it for something greater than just just um going through the steps yeah i mean i feel like this is kind of like it's it's something that um it, you always have to work on um you know i feel like nobody's ever gonna be like that perfect basically like okay you know i'm, I'm present only harry <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's kind of like um, finding ways to, I don't know, like just like remind yourself sometimes, of, like, okay, bring it back into focus and be aware of like what, what am I doing? Um, and, and so, so I'm like curious, like, you know, because Damien, you are bringing this up, like, what, do you have like tools or like tricks that you do on yourself when like find sometimes like you find yourself like, like, well, how, how do you bring your back here? How do you bring yourself back into the moment? Yeah, I would say, um, um, yeah, you know what I would say is, Harry, I don't know, you're getting a lot of wind on your computer, so we're kind of breaking up. Yeah, how, how, I thought it was Gwen's, I thought it was Gwen's, Gwen's microphone. I just turned mine over. Huh? I think you were getting wind on your computer outside. Oh, you think so? I think so. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's going in Jupiter. <laughs> um, um, I would say, um, to be dead honest, um, to answer my best ability of that, Gwen, I would say, sometimes you got to just, like, no joke, you got to just shut off the phone, just turn it off. Because I think a lot of times we get to have access. It, here, here's the truth. My dad's um, 76 years old, maybe 77, right around there. Um, and I always really, I'm always very intrigued with the older generation that have been through a different. Um, there's always generation changes, tech, uh, ups and down, wars back in the day. And, and, and um, I've always been intrigued with, you know, back in the day you you worked and you probably went to a factory and worked and and you brought home you know food for your family and, and it was more the husband and then the wife would just be the kind of child care uh, caretaker and and like things change so quick and then all of a sudden social media comes into play and now you know used to we had radio phones truthfully when i lived in alaska and it was like three dollars for like a minute it was a joke so we never used it um but you look at like connection right now between people. I mean, the fact that we can sit here and all three of us talk like this and it's just so easy and you can stream it to the world and people can join in. What blows my mind is, you know, I remember the day when f my dad actually had the first Mac computer. It was like, you know, this wide and, you know, it took like an hour to turn on. But I, I say all this because right now in our world today, you can have instant uh, up or down feeling uh, emotion just by a text message or just by uh, uh, something that comes through a comment, you name it, whatever it is. It's so quick and so powerful. And, and we all know how powerful just words can be, right? So, um, you know, somebody says, hey, you know, you look great today. All of a sudden you feel kind of good. And then somebody's like, man, you did this to me. You did this to me. You did this to me. And all of a sudden you're like just diving. And it's it's that quick with this right here or or, or information. And so, to answer that real quick and then we'll let everybody chime in i would just say i think sometimes you got to really pull back and put yourself in mother nature and make sure you enjoy your surrounding of actual surrounding and that's like what i'm trying to instill with my little nugget is for sure she can watch some shows or whatever but i want to take her to the beach i want to drop her in the water i want to make sure she experiences eating sand and doing the things that you shouldn't do and you learn and because that's how you learn life and nature and surrounding and living a good life, in my opinion, is living, not necessarily a fake world that is created on social media a lot of times. And and I know it the best. I you know created a career in it in in using social media um, to help grow whatever it was in business. So I would say sometimes you just gotta shut it off and make sure to live in that moment. And um, and it's okay if you don't get back to somebody as long as when you get back to them, you show them your appreciation, even if it was a little bit late. Yeah, I see, uh, I see somebody commenting, saying, um, wing foiling and kiting helps you learn to be in the present moment. And, and, and this is true. Like, you know, when you are on the water, for sure, like, you kind of like forget everything else. Um, and that, that's a great thing. But, but here is the difficult thing. It's like, you know, we are not all like, winging hiding 24 like seven or like you know like every day all day so the hard part is how do you enjoy um the moment when you don't have this high you know we just got like this amazing session toe foiling in jupiter amazing wave you know amazing high like we come out of it we are like so like stoked but then you go back to you know things that are not like as exciting so how do you still enjoy moments like this? And and it's kind of like you get addicted to this amazing feeling, but you don't have it all the time. So um, it, it, it's it's that search of like uh, being able to enjoy the moment, whatever the moment is. It doesn't have to be as um, exciting as wing foiling. Um, but then that's when like you know. Um, Sometimes, like you don't, you are not, you don't find a way to do that, and then you kind of like, you go on social media and you are trying to like, you look for that excitement through somebody else, and you are missing out on your own moment that is maybe not that exciting, but that's how it is. Like, not every moment is exciting, you know. Yeah, Harry, how do you, how would you say in your life, 
uh, how Gwen tapped on something really good, and I would just use the analogy of this, and I'm just curious, but you look at all the Olympians right now who just went and competed, maybe you won a gold medal, or you won a silver, bronze, whatever. It's a super high. When you leave that, it's, you know, it can change your emotion, right? Because that was such a high. Yeah. In life, when you're learning things or going through your life, what were some things that maybe helped you or, or things that you learned throughout your process? I think um, I'm just, I was just thinking when Gwen was talking, I think, you know, yeah, you look, at, um, I mean, I look at the wind conditions coming up and I think, I think to myself, oh, wow, Wednesday is really going to be, it's going to be spectacular. You know, I know the surf's coming in. There's going to be no, no wind. It's going to be great what do I need to prepare? And it takes several days because I'm thinking also I've got to do all my tasks in life to keep the ball rolling, whatever it is. And it's like almost like a job. You got to work every day. And then at the end of the week, you get your paycheck. And that's the same thing. You know, it, it, that Wednesday, you'll get your paycheck. You get to go out and, you know, do the wing foiling. But it takes a lot to get up there that Wednesday. And it's all just part of life. And it, it just doesn't, it's just not every day that that high or that adrenaline feeling, I think. I think you, you, got to put in your mind you got to work towards that point and then that that day comes and it may not come it may maybe postpone another day or two but in the meantime you do your other tasks to get you all prepared ready to go and that is like you know mowing your yard or or whatever those things are go to work and clean and whatever it is you have to do in life to, to get and you know that wednesday's payday you know or thursday if you, do you understand what i think what i'm saying or not it's spot on and, and, and how, um, like, do you have moments where, like, um, you feel like not doing the, 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 the like, less exciting stuff? And, <laughs> yes. And, and, and then how do you actually do it, get to yourself to do it? I guess, you know, I, I don't think about it anymore. It's just that's what I know I have to do. You, you have to do those normal daily activities uh, because that's, that leads you up to the next day and the next day and the next day. But I think, you know, yeah, it's not that fun, but this is real life. This is what goes on every day. I mean, you, you just have to pay your dues and that, whatever that is, I mean, going to work every day and then you have the weekend off and then hopefully it's going to be windy or nice waves or there's something you can do, but during the middle of the week, you got to do work. And if you don't do the work, you won't be able to play on Saturday and Sunday. I, you know, I think it's well said. I think Chris, Chris Tomo, who's chiming in right now, you know, I just want to say, you know, he's, he's mentioned meditation and, and, and how the water can just be such a good thing. And, and, you know, Chris, here's what I'd say to you. And I think Harry and Gwen and I have said this a billion times, but there's something about wing foiling and kiting and, and, and you get so immersed in it that when you go out on the water, you're not thinking about like, Oh, I got to do that email. I got to get that project done. I got to do this. You know, you go out and you enjoy that moment, which is the moment that we've been talking about in this conversation is, is being present and, and, and for sure, whether it's meditation, whether it's yoga, whether it's walking down the road with your family, whatever it may be. But, you know, sometimes <clears throat> the distractions of this can take over your life in a, in a not very powerful way. Look at that. I love it. Yes. Popped in. Hey, buddy. We have, um, the legend junior matt andrews we have the beautiful kelly over there and uh we got to give a big shout out everybody this is a big moment right here because uh the legend junior uh i think just had his first flight as captain so captain um, yes yeah and i think kelly for sure did not go on that flight she was well <laughs> far <laughs> yes hello guys how are you guys Talking there about is, family, we, here we go. There it is, right there. That's what life's all about. about here. Yes, family. Yes. Like that. Yes. People are gonna be like, "Wow, it's such a small world." That you know, I wear like YouTube. Everybody's here. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And they're always here, of course. Yes. You got uh, well, let's 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 tap into this because we got family right here. Um, is there one thing that you could share to the world today, uh, Matt, and then we'll do Kelly that, that, that you could send a message in, in this world today? Well, you know, specifically regarding to winging, um, so I, I fly with a lot of people, right? And a lot of people, because I, I fly for Frontier. Frontier used to be a Western company. Now they're moving to the East Coast. So all these people from the mountains are moving to Florida. And they're like, man, you got to tell me some good water sports. It's like, man, let me tell you about winging. I do it with my dad. I do it with my fiance. My mom comes out and takes pictures. I do it with my best friends. And before you know it, I'm, I'm showing them your all's YouTube channel, your all's Instagram. And um, 
it's so easy to get family and friends hooked on this sport just by showing them everything that that we do and, and you know everything that we try to encourage it's it's an easy bug to get hooked on love it kelly i totally agree it's so much fun being able to be out there doing something with all the people that you love and that you hang out with and it's, it's just such a fun shareable sport um and it's it's also i mean side note besides winging just family i mean it's just so important and so cool to have everybody around and even if they're not physically near you just to be in touch and you know have that support, that support system so in in the world of winging having that support system here with like all you guys is just really really cool really special i mean i like hanging out with gwen so much i thought we should become brother-in-law so that's why i asked Kelly <laughs> 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 yeah, that's so what a beautiful thing well uh it's so good to see you guys and um Thanks for stopping in and seeing the legend. And of course. I love it. Okay. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye, Kelly. Later. Just like that. Look, people, if you're listening right now, the most important thing in life we all know we share is family and making sure that, yeah, you just share that time. It's very valuable. And you don't get it back um, if things change in life, which you never want to see that happen. But you never control when when somebody's time is up so make sure to cherish that time that you do have with them and 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 don't just keep putting things off till next week or the next week after the week after that or i'll get to that because that week may never come right damien so, you, you just um had like uh your wife alex to go wing pointing and 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 you know tell us about that process and and like i mean you have been. In, she left me. You, you have been in water sports for so long. And like, what finally made you feel like, be like, okay, I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, so I'm gonna give everybody my best tips. Best tip on teaching a loved one: don't push it. Don't try to always be like, hey, you want to go today? Hey, you want to go today? Hey, you want to go today? Okay, so you gotta pull that back offer it in a nice gesture oh, it's a beautiful day today you know i think it could be windy maybe you know <laughs> and just build your way into it and then let I them say so familiar to me <laughs> <laughs> let, let them want to choose to do it i would say because i never thought you know i would say never pushing somebody into something ever is a good thing but when 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 you keep it in front of them or you keep that thought process there you know, in time, they're going to be like, yeah, you know what, let's, let's give it a go. And so um, I was lucky enough to have uh, my family in town and was able to take her um, wing foiling up in uh, Fort Pierce and Harry and Gwen were out there crushing it. And uh, just awesome, you know, because <clears throat> in life, we all want to share, right? We all want to share what we've learned to help somebody's life better. Uh, truthfully, I think that's that's a very important thing that I, I just believe in life. That's what it is. Like if you're good at something, you want to share how you to to make somebody's life easier i just think it's i think it's the nature of a human i truly do um and so it's even more uh rewarding when it's somebody that is so close to you or you know you care so much about and i just know how much you know she is going to fall in love with it and it's hard i mean i would say how did it go it's hard her first time she was able to get to her feet um, which is not easy. It took many attempts just to get to your feet and riding and then managing the wing and the balance on the board, you know, it's definitely not easy. So she, you know, she was falling and, and I think what put her to ease, which I think will put, um, a lot of people out there listening in, in a really good state is uh, a couple of people came up to us on the beach, a couple of wonderful women actually who came up and said, ah, oh, we've seen your channel and you know, whatever. And they were like, oh, you're learning you're the wife oh my gosh uh my wife name name is alex and 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 she, and they're like oh man i'm like six months into it and i'm still trying to like go in a straight line i'm struggling i'm falling and i think that was just like that that community of people saying you know this isn't easy it takes time you know and and sometimes you get defeated if you don't learn something in like a minute and uh, I just think it just takes time. So you just enjoy the ride. And I know Gwen has said this and Harry has said this forever is just enjoying that process and, and, and making sure you just enjoy the ride. Because when it comes and once you get good at it, it's great. You work on the next little challenge. But 
enjoy the process so she loves it she's definitely uh, i would say booties would be a good thing or socks covering the top of your feet because you kind of chafe up the top of your uh, feet uh when you're kneeling on the board a lot so just that note to sell for everybody and we look we forget these things sometimes right because you're just up on your feet ripping around you know doing whatever you do and you kind of forget about that first moment so so i have a question for harry but first i'm gonna ask a quick question to Damien. It's, um, you know, so you, you said, like, you know, you want to take it easy. You don't want to force it on, 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 on the, you know, like the people you want to try to like introduce to the sport and just be, be there and, and offer the opportunity, but not be like, you know, pushy about it. Now turning it around, is there like something that like, um, you know, like Alex wants, like has been trying to get you into, <laughs> that's a good one. Yes. <laughs> that's a really good one. Um, you know, I think um the biggest thing I think my wife has been working with me on that is something that you know it's hard to change in life. It's hard to take challenges or take um take constructive criticism from anybody, right? Because any person has a um an opinion. But you know, sometimes I get really my heart just so focused into work or an item a problem because i'm a problem solver so i really want to fix something i like if 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 this is a solution and it's going to create all these problems down the chain i want i want to fix right here because i i truly believe that it's going to fix this for the rest of that and sometimes a lot of it isn't always in your control but you do everything in your part and, it, and you just dwell on it and you work every way possible to make it right and she's been instilling in me, which is such a beautiful thing because you can just keep learning your whole life is, um, you know, do your best. Um, it doesn't have a heartbeat, a job. Um, and I think that to me is spectacular because she says it, even my dad has said it. And, and, and I just get so passionate about trying to make everything I do as best as I can. And sometimes you got to remember what what just happened right here on camera and that is the family that came to harry here you know um matt and kelly that's it man that's they have heartbeats they're alive that is our world a job look you do your best for your employer or your company or your own and most importantly is try to enjoy that process and do your best um if it it doesn't have a heartbeat so that's what she's trying to help me on so um so hard to Maybe turn that off sometimes be a bit more like balance yes 100 percent. And, and harry like um in 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 that process of like um you know your son matt like you know it seemed like i'm sure he got into like kiting and winging you know like some influence from you how did that process go like where you're like you got a kite let's go to the beach or like where you just like slowly like trying to bring him in um, but let him make the decision he tied him to a palm tree at the beach <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i think i think when i think when they were young and you know when you you have young kids they want to do whatever you're doing and mm -hmm. i think that's uh, really the secret is it's not really rocket science figure out how to raise your children the correct way it's all one thing spending time with a valuable time all the time like the heartbeat thing demo just said and so it, it, it all relates back to that. It's like whenever I did went somewhere, my boys, my two boys were with me, Michael and Matthew. And so, of course, Daddy, let's. I want to try this. I want to go do this, Daddy. How, like, how do you do this? How do you do that? You know. And so you just spend time with them. And Matt, of course, and Michael both. They both, you know, wanted to learn to do the kiting and 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 everything. And Matthew, of course, he's he lives really close by the Suns in Texas with SpaceX. So I don't see him quite as much, but. Um, he keeps real busy, but still does the, st the basic stuff that we did when when I were we were group when they grew up, and that's they do the scuba diving and they do all the water sports, and they you know they they still there. You know, Matt flew with us when we had our plane when our business, and and I think that's what got his feet wet in aviation to begin with, and now of course he works for Frontier. Same thing with kiting and winging is that the same thing? Oh yeah, Dad. Let, let, I, I didn't have to say here. Here's this kite. You got to you got to learn this. No. It's like, oh no, they wanted to do it. They wanted to do what mom and dad's doing, you know, I think. Yeah. You know, it's funny here, you say all that. It, I think 
you know, we've said this many times, but I'm just going to say it right now for everybody listening. First off, we thank everybody. We love you. And, and, and I know it's a Thursday. Look, we do this. We're just passionate to share a good message to everybody out there. And hopefully this can just spark something in you. But I just want to say what Harry just said right there and Gwen has just inst- installed so many times in so many videos is surround yourself with good people. Just get yourself out there. If, if, if you want to learn to be a whatever lawyer, go just hang out with a bunch of lawyers. Or if you want to do some water sport, just just go. Just be there. Surround yourself because that'll just maybe morph into something that you really are passionate about and you love. And And I think that's kind of the same situation of, you know, with your kids. If you're doing something you love, they're just going to morph into that. And I think that's 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 you're kind of a you're kind of a product of your surrounding i think in life you know and sometimes people's surroundings they don't have that opportunity as others but i say that um the the goal in life would be to maybe put yourself in an opportunity where maybe your surrounding can give you that so so now that means you know harry by like hanging out with damien you know you, slowly you know whether you want it or not you're probably going to start writing Sinker board, you're gonna put foot strap, you're gonna try backflips. It's coming, it's coming, Harry. You, you, you surround yourself with Damien. I feel it, I feel it, I feel the urge. Yes, I know it is. Yes, but Damo's right. It's like he's he's 100% right. And I think that through my whole life, when I see an individual person like you and Damo, it's like you know, you want I've always wanted to be with people who are smarter or better than I am, and I learned from that, and that's how I've always lived my life. is to be with people who I've truly admired. And if I don't admire them, it's because there's something they're not, you know, that's not what I like, but, and so I think those are how I've always obtained my goals are that way. It's just always try to be with people I admire who I know are smarter than I am and try to be more like you guys, you know, it's the same thing. And yeah, I, I, I Matt and I have already talking about the sinker board. <laughs> Well, you know, if we're speaking totally honest, I, I hang out with you because you have a jet ski so we can tow. <laughs> and then I've been hoping that, you know, one day I know your son works for SpaceX and, you know, I'm ready to go up, baby. I'm ready. <laughs> He'll get you a discounted seat, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I want to talk quickly about, like, you know, wing falling and, like, Harry, like, um, you – have been like really hooked on like a smaller foil a 1000 foil and and maybe that's something that you didn't even think um was possible and it happened so so like how did that like progression um of that like happen like were you even like um i don't know i like yeah thinking that it would you would be writing a 1000 square centimeter foil. yeah and before you answer that harry before you answer that Let's do specs because we never do this. Give people the specs of what you started on and then what you're on right now, like as best as possible so people can understand when I first started Wing and Harry and then what I'm ended up on now, I think would be a cool little uh, information for people. Okay. I think we, I started on this, the Moses Saab foil. It's called the 1100, which is 2100 centimeters and it's super stable and yet it's very thin. So it's very fast for a large, large wing. You can see it as soon as you look at it, you know, it's, it's very good. And now <laughs> what I've been exclusively on and have not went back to any other foil is the Cabrina 1000, which is like, it's an incredible foil, I will say. And I never thought I'd be on a 1000 ever, but it all plays back to our toe and foiling because when we first started toe and foiling, we were on this big 250 surf that Damo got for me and it was it was super stable. We we're out in the ocean and it was great. And I thought, Oh my gosh, I'm going so fast, you know? And then with my son, Matt, he says, dad, you know, we need to try this smaller foil and, and keep going down in size and size. And then Gwen, who goes with us all the time, Damon Gwen, Gwen says, uh, I'm on this 1000. We should, we should try this 1000. And he says, super stable. And I'm thinking, I've, I've been on small foils because I used to have race foils, you know, when we ever did racing, you know, and, and, um, I said, there's nothing stable about a 1000, you know, I'm thinking to myself, but it's a high aspect and it's, it's incredibly stable. It's like, I thought, Oh my gosh. So the first time I tried the 1000 was toe and foiling. And I said, and when you're toe and foiling, 
your it really helps your wing foiling because you're totally just it's a balanced thing only toe and foiling because when you let go of that rope it's all about carving and riding free riding and you're riding the surface of the wave only so when you turn left or you turn right it's all balanced and so when how it relates to wing foiling is that when you go into your jibes or when you're riding a wave you lift your wing up over your head you've got that just balance feeling only it's it's that's the only thing that keeps you up riding is you're feeling the wave motion of the foil itself and it gives you you'll feel where all the power is in the wave and so that really goes right in the wing it really helps your wing you know i'm immensely i think i mean it really has helped mine out and so we're back now we're back to the cabrina 1000 it's a 1000 centimeter foil all carbon and i don't know how they did it but cabrina really just hit it right i mean absolutely perfect i also have their 1200 i haven't even put the 1200 on yet i've been only just on the 1000 that's it and it's like and it, it's different totally different getting up on the 1000 than it is the 2100 centimeter moses and um my first couple jibs on the 1000 i felt right away switching my feet i did i fell because when you're towing foiling you never switch your feet but when you um when you're winging i switch my feet every single tack i do just about unless i'm going to go hit a wave right away but um so back to the 1000 deal it's it's faster so you can feel feel more of the wave and it also when it's choppier out it goes to the water better and it doesn't want to ride and catch every piece of the chop and wants to throw you off it really it just sails right through all that chop stuff but you feel the sensation of the big powerful wave underneath your feet so yeah the, this last month and a half now i guess it's only that's not come off my board that's been <laughs> on the 1000 only it's like and i i do have a bigger wing i use that the mantis 62 or the five you know light wind day and it's it's uh it, it makes you pump differently it makes you work a little differently but it, it it's more fun and i never thought i'd be I, I never thought that i would be on the 1000 ever and but i think it is a progression thing because as you get going more and more you know you think you know you want to try something a little different to, to get the feel of it but the toe and foil and pushed me towards the 1000 wing. And now when I'm winging, it's only the 1000. And now it feels like the 2100 all the time. It feels there's hardly any difference. It's so, it's so natural feeling, but it didn't at first, but now it does. Actually, have you been back to like that, that 1100 uh, Moses? Since <laughs> no, been the I have not been back on it at all. I know. <laughs> that no, would be interesting. Oh, yeah. you You'll know, hate it. You'll totally yeah. hate it. Sometimes you have that perspective or like what you remember of it back when, you know, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's nice, it's stable, it's fast. And then you try that and then you go back to it and you are like, oh, it's incredible. You know, like, I mean, that's kind of how I feel about like some past foils that I was writing where before I learned on, I was like, I, I, I thought it was like a great foil, you know, and now I go back to it. And I'm like, wow, like this is like, um, yeah, I would say <clears throat> hitting that point is spot on. But I would say, first off, I'd say to everybody out there, you know, we say it a lot and it truly is uh, an important note to just know when you try something or you try a kite that you used three, five, ten years ago or whatever it is, or you try a foil that you first started on, the evolution of things, how it changes, it really does get better. Like it really does to, to a significant level where um, you should just try it because in my career, I've gone back and I'm like, oh, man, but this was just such an amazing thing. Now, there's certain aspects with maybe, you know, like, for instance, a speed board and, and, and kite surfing. It's it's kind of this tiny little thing, you know, it could last for a while because evolution may be a slower change on it. But I think with foiling and with wings and with kites, I mean, it's just making significantly fast changes in such a good way. Um, and and. You know, Harry said something here in this in this little conversation here that I really want to say, because, well, first off, I'm going to say in three months from now, we're going to be talking probably about the 800 high aspect because Harry will probably be on the 800 forever. That's probably what's going to happen. I'm just going to say that right now. And then I'm going to say that I have been, I weigh about 155 pounds and I ride the five meter Mantis like 24 seven. That's my go-to. I just five meter, five meter, five meter. It's just, I can get it up. I can go and just nothing. And Harry and Gwen have been like, dude, you got to try the 6'2 Mantis. You got to try the 6'2 Mantis. I'm like, whatever. I can ride a five. I can ride it. I can ride it. 
Dude, the 6-2 Mantis, I'm telling everybody out there, I mean, Gwen and I were capable to share a session of just massive rollers in like eight mile an hour wind. And I actually went out on a kite because it wasn't even windy enough to wing. And then somehow freaking nature here, Gwen got out on his wing and we were sharing this special session with some massive waves. Totally like could not, don't get yourself into a situation because there was not enough wind to do anything right. But um, I stayed on the beach that day, by the way, because the waves were so big. <laughs> dude, it was such a good day. But I would say that 6-2 Mantis, like anybody listening, if I were to recommend one wing, and I'm, I'm, either, look, there's a lot of good wings out there. I'm just telling you that 6-2 is a really good wing. Um, and even for myself, like I just always, I, I think sixes and sevens were always good for people that are learning and, and just bigger because you're not, you're not as skilled. So you're not as efficient. But man, that 6-2 is so good, even for myself. Like I'm like, I I now can change that I would say, if it's really light, I would take a 6-2 versus always just taking the five. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I think uh, it was, it's funny because when I, John was on the beach with you and, and, and y'all you're just saying, you know, I was on the 945, which is 1350. I went the 2100, 1350 Moses. They said you could probably that thousand is gonna you're gonna get up just as good on that thousand as that thirteen fifty and I'm thinking to myself, I don't know I'm I'm pretty a big guy because I enjoy life. I mean honestly, if I want to drink at night I have a drink. You know if if I um, want a hamburger you want five you have five. I eat, yeah I, eat, I get a hamburger. You know it's like I'm not physically fit but I enjoy life. That's what I I think life is all about and that's enjoying it. I I mean I'm not gonna be running marathons i understand that but i just enjoy life so i weigh 190 and it's like oh my gosh that 1000 there's no way i would be able to get on that i was so wrong and you guys were so right and i watched gwen every single time now he's always on that 800 and i'm going it's light wind and they're getting up on it but i see why now i see the way you start out it's different but it takes a while and i think anybody starting out needs to be on a big foil though i still say that 100 i think because you need that stability you need to be able to get up in lighter winds and you need to learn all your tacks and jibes and getting everything going and then then you can step your game up a little more each little bit I, now that's my theory but i mean that's what i, think. I have a question gwen do you drink <laughs> <laughs> yes. and i you know I, but i would say i have a drink only like time. behind doors I would say only when Harry makes the drink. Like <laughs> that's what I'm laughing about. Yes. <laughs> what do you put? Like, like I really drink stuff or yes. dirt in it or something. <laughs> it's a mai tai. I make a great mai tai. Oh my gosh! Yes. Gwen was over. <laughs> we were in Key West. That's the only, that's the only drink I drink. <laughs> uh, Gwen, uh, you're I, on an 800. <laughs> no, so we have been talking about gear. Yeah. But now, you know, gear is not everything. And I think like, you know, your, your, your technique and your writing <clears throat> is a big part of it. And, um, you know, we have had like, you know, incredible sessions and maybe sometime like, you know, with experience and then, you know, you have an incredible session. It's hard to like make, um, enjoy like the, 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 the not so great session and i feel like the past few days we have had like kind of like light wind like not ideal where you go like you know you go at the causeway and it's flat and it's light and 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 i've been like trying to um work on like you know just like it like improving my skills of like basic things like you know like tax and and and, and it has been very beneficial um you know like it, like sometimes we get too focused on like the good days and the gear, but there's so much about like the not so good days and going out there and just like putting in the time. Um, yeah, time do, on the water. Do you yeah. guys like ever feel like, you know, on like a day where it's like, Oh, you know, whatever, it's not that great of a day. Like, are you still being like, I'm still going to go out and work on something like basic and, and, and get it super dialed in. Or do you tend to be like, oh, whatever, I, I go next time, it's, it's better? Oh, I think I think it's like the guy who wants to run the marathon race on Sunday afternoon. It's like he just doesn't get up Sunday morning and go, okay, I'm going to go hit that 20, 30 miles, whatever long a marathon is. I don't even know because I never run one. But <laughs> anyways, or does, he, or does he practice like every day during the day? He You know, every week he 
practices running a few miles here. Every morning he gets up and runs. He practices. He gets ready. And then Sunday he is all prepared and he's out there, you know, doing the marathon run. The same thing with winging is, you know, you just can't go out. Oh, now it's 20 knots and it's eight foot waves. I'm going to go out there and do it. No, you, you can't. It's one of those things you have to prepare for, I think, and get all your jives taxed down, you know, and be able to see, ride small waves, learn how to pump to try to go through your corners and your turns. And I said, and, and then that big day Sunday comes, you're ready to play again. You know, you, you can do all the things you want to do out there. Otherwise, you, you'll get smoked, I think. Well, I would say um, <clears throat> good morning, Jack. Thanks for chiming in. I'll say that first. And then I'll say, um, yeah, so if, when you have a child, um, any moment, no matter how bad, good, any time on the water is so epic, Gwen. It's, uh, that, that's my answer to that because your time gets uh, you spread out. So um, my time on the water, which used to be a lot, um, has dwindled. And so, you know, any time I get out, even if I just fly the wing on the beach or I get to say hi to my wing coiling friends and, and there's no wind and I go home, you know, I'll take advantage of it and I, I'll just enjoy that moment or I'll enjoy that time. So I would say um, I agree with you 100%. Any time down there doing a trade, whether it's standing on an SUP and, and motoring back and forth with the wing or flying the wing, any time is just going to better your craft. And, and, and if you just enjoy what you're given, whatever that win, whatever those conditions, um, then when those special days come, it's, it's, it's really rewarding. I mean, I, I've been like, the past few days, it was pretty light. And I, I'm usually always, you know, you see me at the beach, I'm always on the sinker bone. Um, but I've been, I've been out like the past few days on like the like the 90 liter bone. And and it's fun. Like, it's <laughs> not like, I mean. Well, that's cool. Well, <laughs> you know, don't think that if you can ride a sinker bone, like, you know, like a big boat would never be fun again. It is, and 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 you can make it fun, and you there's just so much to learn. So it's like, it doesn't have to be always the highest performance gear, um, you know that that that's that's all that's going to be beneficial. Basically, you can you can be able to ride really high performance gear, and that's great. But there is still something to learn from riding something a bit more basic, uh, or like you know a bit easier, a bit more stable, or whatever. And you can still, uh, it will be beneficial when you go back to like that high performance gear. Yeah. So, and let me chime in real quick, Gwen, because this is awesome. You called me literally like two days ago or three days, whenever it was. And you literally said this, and I just want to say this from what you just said right there. Damien, I took the straps off the board. And like riding waves was like insane. And I was like, yeah. I was like, dude. We have straps on because we're trying backflips. Not every day gives you the backflips or gives you the trick day, whatever. And he took them off and he was just like, it was like incredible. And I'm just like, it's like you've ridden without straps many times. You know? Well, and that's the thing. What happened was I went out and it was kind of like, nah, just not, not great of a day. Like kind of lighter, not like very tiny waves that you can barely ride. And, and I, w I went out with straps and I was like, you know, I'm not having like, that much fun really like how can i change what what can i change to make it interesting and i was like you know what i'm never strapless let's go strapless and i was on the sinker ball and and i went strapless and i had the best time ever and so it's like it's you have to change things don't always go like you know no it's like i'm 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 foot straps and i'm going for the backflip and i'm gonna stick with that <laughs> but no like if if that day you don't you are not having fun with foot strap trying backflips change it and 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 there is a way to make it fun you just have to find it agreed agreed well we um we got to round this down and jump into the patron um and um let's let's all end on a on a note here and um as we always try to do in, in some of our onboard videos, hopefully you guys have been watching our onboard series that Gwen has so amazingly uh, created. Um, sometimes we don't always have the in, inspirational part in it just because we're so fired up on the message we're trying to share. But um, <clears throat> I think I'll just tap on this one more time today. But first off, 
I hope everybody has a great rest of the week and really enjoy your weekend and make sure you, you, you tune into that moment and that time that you have with your family or with your loved one or whoever you're with, or even if you're by yourself, just enjoy the time that you're doing, whatever you're doing, make sure to be in the moment. And then again, I'll just say to all those people, you know, in you, Ukraine, I think, um, you know, I just hope, um, you know, from every repercussion, you know, things in life, th this is what you can't control. So you just got to um, be in that moment for sure. So, yeah, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for being here, um, for following along. We have more videos coming. Um, and now we are going to jump into the, um, uh, the, the Patreon only plus show. So, Basically, if you sign up for our Patreon, we have the link below. Uh, that's a way to support what we do. And in exchange, uh, in return, you get access, early access to our videos, and you get access to our uh, post show every week with our guest today, Harry the Legend. Everybody wants to spend more time with Harry, so we are going to the, the, the Patreon on this show with Harry. The, the patron of uh, $5 goes to the gas money for uh, Harry's jet ski. <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to invite everybody on this channel so we can have a line of people on the beach and just do this big toe session. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's so much fun. So much fun hanging with you guys always. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Harry, so much. And we love you and we love everybody out there. So on that note, we're signing out. Everybody have a wonderful day.